Waffles, eggs, bacon. What's up, good and wonderful people? Welcome to Atlanta Explain. This is where we look at the latest episode of the FX show Atlanta and break down some of the final points of the show. This is how it'll work. I'm going to point out five things. The first will be the synopsis of the episode. The second, the moral of the episode. The third, something I call the hidden gem. The fourth, since it's Robin season, I'm going to talk about who got robbed. And the fifth is the funniest moment in the episode. And because this is YouTube, I have to say this. Spoilers. So let's get started. So before I start this video, I've already made a very lengthy theory on this episode already. So I'm going to be quick about stuff. If I leave anything out, please click that uh, little eye in the corner to go watch the full theory. Cause I make like a 14 minute video and I've talked, I've talked about this episode already in length. So I'm going to make this one quick. Darius finds a piano on sale and heads out to go get it. There he meets Teddy, uh, the brother of the famous Benny Hope brothers. Throughout the episode, Darius is intrigued by all the pictures and trophies of Benny, but intrigue turns to worry when things start to get strange. At first, Darius believes that Benny doesn't exist, but when Teddy tries to kill both him and Benny and frame him for his brother's death, Benny uh, shows up alive, kills Teddy, then points the gun at himself, ending his own personal hell. <clears throat> the moral here is that though you experience pain in life, you can still learn how to live a very joyous life and be happy. Darius tells Teddy that Stevie Wonder is the greatest example of this. For a second, Teddy contemplates this, but then quickly ignores it because for him, it's just too late. Because your childhood was filled with pain and unhappiness doesn't mean you need to carry it out into your adult life. Way too many people have that excuse of why they are the way they are, and they say it's because it was the way they brought up. Your dad is an alcoholic, so you are too. Your mom was abusive to her kids, so you are too. You are the yours. Your granddaddy was a racist bigot, so you have to be. We grow up to be our own people and create our own destiny. The song that plays at the end is Stevie Wonder's Evil, which honestly couldn't be a more perfect song for the end of the episode. The first three lines of the song describe exactly what Teddy and his brother went through with their father. The hidden gem in this episode is sacrifice. I know a lot of people, when it comes to Hollywood and celebrities, you hear the word sacrifice and you immediately, your mind for some reason goes to fucking Illuminati and blood sacrifices and selling souls. That is stupid because you can't sell what you don't fucking own. Just gonna leave that there and let you deal with it the way you want to. Listen, Teddy's father sacrificed their childhood because he wanted to achieve success that he couldn't as a child. As fucked up as it sounds, you've heard plenty of examples of this. You've seen TV shows and documentaries about toddler beauty pageants, dance moms, football parents, parents who make their kids study 10 hours a day. These parents, all of them, sacrifice the childhood of their children to try to make themselves seem accomplished, and it's sad. People don't understand how valuable and cherishing a childhood can be. It molds a child into the person they will become. Some parents think they're doing it for their kids. They're doing it for themselves. Their father robbed them of the childhood. Basically, they were completely robbed of being children. They had, they were robbed of growing up to be what they could have become, which is probably happy people, which was probably joyous people. And I know a lot of people want to take this episode and go, you know, there's a lot of reflection to how the Jackson five were brought up, but just don't look at the Jackson five. Look at several child stars, not just today, back in the day who had parents who, who, you know, did this to them and how they ended up growing up. And we want to call them weird and freaks and wacko and all this other bullshit. When you've got to understand, they didn't grow up like, you know, me and you. They wasn't allowed to go outside and play on the swing sets and shit like that. So they got the one thing that me and you got taken away from them. And that was a childhood. The funniest part of this episode, even though it was a very somber and sad episode, was, I got to say, Sammy Sosa hat. Just if you didn't see the episode or you forgot what I'm saying, just go Google Sammy Sosa hat and you'll see what I'm talking about. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I went into like a lot of detail in my theory video about this episode. So that's why I kind of skipped a lot. So if you want to hear what I have to say fully 100%, just click the links. Um, 
Again, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell. If you want to support the channel, click the many links in the description box below from buying you some loot crate to shopping on Amazon to buying you some graphic tees to donating. It's all appreciated or you could just make sure you share the video. Thanks again so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you guys next time. And remember, brand new episode of Atlanta is tonight. So I will have my video up pro probably by noon tomorrow possibly and possibly a theory video of some type of just Atlanta as a whole. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see you guys next time.